My name is Steve. I'm a Trans West truck trailer RV. Today we're going to show you the Mountain Air, the 4551 beautiful coach with the amazing color scheme on the exterior. You've got the grays, blacks, and whites. Now I always talk about the same. I mention about tires because it's real important. You've got the bigger 365s up front gives you more stability on the road. That's a great feature to have. It's independent suspension on your front tires. You got 315s in the back, which I'll show you with your steerable tag. You've got the nice chrome package on the bottom. That way, if when you're driving the coach, you're not gonna bring stuff up and ruin your paint job. And that's all the way around the coach. As you go, we go through it, You've got your docking lights, so you can see when you're backing in, makes it very simple. You have a dual fill, 150 gallon fuel tank. The nice part on the coach, as you can see, you've got flush mount slides, so they fit in. You don't have any issues with any wind, rain, and debris coming in when the slides are in. Another nice thing is you've got the bigger block engine. It's a sister coach, the Dutch Star, and then his big brother, the London Air. This fits right in between. You've got a 500, 11.9 liter big block Cummins, pushing out 695 horsepower. Excuse me, torque. Horsepower is 500. It's got a 4,000 transmission, which I'll go through on the inside. Underneath, you've got plenty of storage. This one has the extra cooler underneath, refrigerator, freezer. You've got the platform to add more stuff. Let me pull this out so you can get a better idea and a better look at it. As it comes out, again, easy to get to, easy to fill with all those goodies that you want to bring. So if you're coming down from Washington, you're bringing that good fish. If you're coming from this area and you want good steaks, you can pack them right in here. Personally, I like fish. I eat a lot of fish. It's good for you, that's what I'm told. So you can keep your drinks on one side, your extra goodies on the other. And then to put it back, it just rolls in. Very easy, very simple. You've got plenty of storage underneath the coach. You've got the nice pull-out trays. Makes it real simple. Put all your stuff on. Everything can go here and on the next one, which I'll show you. Everything has a place, which is always nice to have. Everything can be organized, because I know when you're looking for stuff, it's always hard to find. This one you just slip back in, easy peasy. Again, more storage. You've got the extra flooring underneath. Those can be put elsewhere, but you have this nice big area for more storage, for more stuff and it works out amazingly well. Or if you have company, that can be the guest quarters. That's up to you. But this is real nice, real easy to get to. They pull out, makes it simple. And again, you can just push it right on in. It'll go in and out on either side, which works out really well. You can get to it on both sides. And then for your entertainment purposes, if I may, get the extra TV, you're sitting out, enjoying life, living La Vida Loca. The nice sound bar, the Bose, you've got the Samsung TV. You have extra plugs on top, works out amazingly well. If you notice up top, you've got the nice big awnings that you can sit underneath and enjoy your time. They're lit up at night, works out real well. There's awnings all the way around the coach and over the windows. As you can see up top, you have them over the door. This side's covered, you have them over each of the slides, which works out great. Put this one back. As we're moving forward, nice big storage area, easy to get to your central vac and change the, the bags on it for the boss. And you can also vacuum outside by plugging in here. Works out rather nicely comes with the extra tools to bring in and out awnings and slides. And we teach you that when we do the two-hour class, should anything happen on the coach. 
We offer great customer service after the sale, which comes in handy. In case you forget how to use something, people call me, call the walkthrough tech, his name is Wade or Bill. We try to help any way we can. Moving forward, behind the next door, place to put all your tools, your diesel emission fluid. It's kind of nice to have it handy because when you're out camping or when you're driving, bring an extra couple two gallon jugs of diesel emission fluid so that way you never run out. It's a good thing to do, good policy to have for yourself. Again, you're not going to run out and you can fit an array of other tools in here. It's funny when you have your toolbox I was taught by a few people, because I'm not real mechanical, unfortunately, I break everything. But inside your toolbox, you should have your hammer, screwdriver, you have a wrench, you have a butter knife and a regular knife, you've got bailing wire, you've got duct tape, not sure why, but you use your duct tape, and you have to bring one other thing with you just to make sure you bring that, and that's called a sense of humor, because everything that can have happen happens and it's funny and if the best part is if you're parked at a park you can talk to your neighbors someone's real mechanical someone's gone through it but that can all go here or underneath as we're moving backwards here you've got again big 315 tires you've got a big steerable tag in the back so then this coach because you lose some of your turning radius on the bigger chassis this one's on a Spartan K3 chassis, which is the, one of their biggest chassis. You pick up that extra steering on the back because it is a steerable tag, kind of like the old hook and ladder. Works out really well, so when you're in those tight places, you can maneuver every which way. Underneath, you had HWH hydraulic leveling jacks. They're the bigger jacks. You can see them from here. That'll keep the coach nice and stable when you're parked. It's not going to be rocking and rolling when you're parked. You definitely want to have it nice and stable. And they use a top of the line equipment, that's HWH, and they're hydraulic. Going back a little further, we've all come to love to hate the diesel emission fluid. It's part of us now. This is where you fill up. Go about 37 to 4,700 miles. Again, when you're on the road, sometimes you're not in the best spots. So you bring those extra two two gallon jugs with you, you'll never be without. It's a good policy, it's a good way to keep yourself on the road when you're out and about and enjoying your time. Because the best thing about camping is you've got the time to go where you want to go. And you get to park and go and enjoy your time with family. You've got the extra egress door, that's in case of emergencies, I'll demonstrate that inside. But you can actually get out should there be an emergency. The door opens with a unlock it and then the ladder drops down. You can get out to safety. And I'll show you that when we get inside. Underneath, those are your crank batteries for your engine. Easy to get to. Shouldn't have any major issues with them. But again, they made it very simple for you to get to the components on the coach works out very nicely when you have to change things out. Because I'm never going to tell you you'll never have to do any maintenance on your coach. Because there's always something to do. On the back, on the Spartan, you got the K3 500. You've got your backup camera. You've got a, the air duct to the back on the Spartan. And then back here, this kind of snaps, so be careful when you're opening it. The nice thing about having that side draft radiator is you can get to the back of the coach without having to pull the radiator off. You can do all your maintenance if you're mechanical. You can check your serpentine belts. You can check everything in the back of the coach. This is an ISX2, slightly detuned from an ISX on a 605. You've got the air chuck back here. You can, you've got your fluid here on your Oasis hydronic heating system, which I'll demonstrate and show you on the other side. Again, it's easy to get to, easy to find everything, and when you need maintenance, you just undo this and a service person or you can get to everything and check it. Works out rather nicely. You can pull up to 15,000 pounds. You won't feel it behind the big block engine and with the big chassis. You're not going to feel like 
your tow vehicles pushing your, your vehicle down the road because you have all the extra amenities on the coach and the extra bigger tires, bigger chassis, runs a whole lot better. Makes it very simple and very easy. Of course, it's a Numar. And then bound around the other side, you've got your side draft on the radiator. The nice thing with that is it brings in the air cooler on the side. It's easy to get to, easy to maintain. Diesel emission fluid on your fill. When you pull up to the service station and you're filling up with fuel, you can fill it up on the same side, or you can fill it up on the other side. Makes it very simple. For those of us that like to bring the gloves with us or other stuff, another little compartment for you to put your extra stuff in. Makes it very simple, very easy to add more stuff. You have to have room for stuff. Up top, you got the venting for the dryer. You've got your awning package. It's a nice Gerard awning package. These are both electric. They'll come out. Up top, you've got the awning cover for your slide. Again, it's Gerard. Gerard's your top of the line equipment maker for awnings. They work real well. And they always match the coach on the exterior. The two rails up top are not other awnings. They just match the other side, which works out rather nicely. So it looks fluid. This part here, we all know it's here, it's the dump station. I'm going to guess that's your job, Chief, but you have a macerator on the coach that you pull out, it'll grind up what's in your black tank, it'll pump out what's in your gray and black. Now one thing not to do, I found this out from a customer. As you're looking at this and you take this piece off, you hit the Santa Con on, don't point it at yourself, it's a good experience. I saw someone do that. We had to throw the soap on them, we rinsed them off, washed them off. It was a pretty crappy experience. Again, you've got an outside shower, you've got filter for the whole coach, you've got your fill, power reel for your water, and of course the outside rinse off for your you're at the lake or the ocean or your four-legged friends. Everything's right here, your paper towel holder. Everything's right here, easy to get to, very clean. For someone's job. You notice the extra exhaust, you technically have three diesel engines on the coach. You've got the big block in the back. You've got your 12.5 generator up front and you have the Oasis hydronic heating system. Separate diesel engine works off a of diesel, works off of electric or the generator, and I'll show you that as well. Fifty amp power cord, power everything in the coach. It's on a reel so you can push the button to retract. When it's out, allow me, when it comes out, I always try to to hold it as it's coming back in so you're not dragging it across the ground and maybe you'll break something. It's just things that I've learned makes it wear that much better. And when you put it in, make sure you tuck it back a little ways. Again, you don't want it to break, you don't want it to get broken because then it's a bit of a pain to get them fixed. They're all lit so you can see them well at night. And then you can put when the cord comes out in the little slot so it stays and you get no other company in the underbelly of your coach from crawling up. That's the Oasis hydronic heating system. It pumps the fluid all the way around the coach to heat up the coach, heat up your water. So if you want to take a six hour hot water shower, you're more than welcome. You can do it as long as you have the water to do so. The system is great. It's one of the most efficient systems in the industry. It works off your separate diesel engine, works off shore power, or off your generator. You get to pick and choose how you want to use that depending on how you're camping. I mentioned earlier that you can get to your storage on either side. It comes in handy because it's always, the thing that you want is always on this side when you're on that side. So just come around the coach, pull that out, and you can get to all the things that you need to get to. 
I'm guessing this is your department and she gets the inside. But it's nice you get all this extra storage that you can get to easily. And then when you're done, it just rolls back in. Again, you notice the chrome package on the bottom. So again, when you're driving, debris comes up, you're not going to scratch and hurt your paint. On the next one, you've got the other side of the other storage compartment. That comes out as well. So you can get to things on both sides. Makes it very easy to get to, very easy to get all your things in and get them out whenever you need them. One of the nice upgrades for 2023, everyone always asks, what are they going to do lithium? Well, we have lithium. You've got the two 3,000 watt inverters, power one AC. You've got the full lithium package on the coach. Works out rather nicely. They keep a bigger charge longer, easy to charge up. They don't get quite as affected by the extremes on your temperatures. And this compartment is then heated and also keeps cool. Works out rather nicely now that they've made that part of the equation on the mountain air. And if you needed to add more, you might be able to add another piece on the top. We can check with service if that's what you need. Again, part of your fill, it's a dual fill on each side. Your docking lights, so when you're backing in, you've got them here and in the back works out rather nicely when you're backing in at night. Then your wiring harness, easy to find, easy to get to, right here. Let's see if it stayed on. Your generator comes out. I haven't broke it yet, that's a good thing. You've got the bigger generator on the coach. It's an own and of course, it's a big diesel generator. That'll power everything in this coach and it might power the piece behind you. But that's a good thing that it comes out, easy to get maintained. Hadley air horns here. You've got a air chuck up front to fill up your inner tubes and things. Hot water to the front so you can rinse off the front of the coach. Let me just bring this out a little further so I can demonstrate and show you what I mean. When you need to get behind here, now don't let someone sneak in there and shut it on you, but you can do your maintenance here on everything you need in the front of the coach and the generator. Easy to get to, easy to work on. Okay, everybody, cross your fingers. Hey, look at that. As long as your key's on accessory, it'll work. The generator is running. You've got your mirrors up top. You have your built-in side camera. You have your turn signal up in the mirror. Again, they do all the niceties on the luxury line on their big block engine with the bigger chassis on the big mountain air. As we walk past the front cap, nicely done, very tastefully done. You've got your seeing eye for your adaptive cruise. You've got your camera in the front so you can see what's going on around you, in front of you, on the sides of you. Again, works out rather nicely. Again, extra safety things. As we come inside, you've got the keyless entry, got the doorbell, you can program your own code. You've got the heavier duty steps on the coach, so you can come in. Now if you have any four-legged friends like most of the customers do, this lifts up. You can put the leashes and things in here. Again, it makes it easy to put things away so you know where they are. And on the one in front, well, that's good for flip-flops, flashlights, and anything else that you want to find a spot for. You can see this piece slides this way, and I'll show you that inside. You've got the nice 
little things. Solid door for your screen door, door here, and it works out rather nicely. Show you inside, I left the slides in so you can see what it looks like with everything in so you can maneuver yourself through the coach. Come on up. Now I'll show you that you can get through the coach. It's not as complicated. Now grant that I'm a little bit smaller now so it makes life easier. But you can walk through without much problem and hesitation. You can get through the coach. You can use the refrigerator with the slides in. You can get to the bathroom. You can do the things you want to do while someone's driving. If you need to use the facility, you want to get a snack out of the refrigerator. I mean, you can even get into the pantry here if you need to to get things when you want. If you have people sitting back here, they can be relaxing on the comfortable ride. You've got a full air ride on the coach, which makes it rather nice. TV's here, you can bring that up. Folks are sitting here. And you just get to enjoy your time. So you can see you can get through the coach very easily, very comfortably and enjoy again when you're getting there half of the fun is either looking out the windows or just relaxing and enjoying let me put out some slides so you can take a better look at the coach we've got a chain driven hydraulic slide they're big chains that bring them out and then they kneel down in place works out rather nicely. There's no carpet in the coach, so easier to keep clean for the boss. And then it should just drop down in place, theoretically. There it goes. They don't make them so they're fast, but they, but they do work, which always is a good thing. Bring out the other one. It has its own locking mechanism on there. It takes a moment for it to bring the locking mechanism down. Then it opens up. And then you have your dance hall. Then I'll bring out the other slide in the back as we're looking through the coach. It's beautifully done. It's got the nice gray ultra leather. It's all villa furniture. Very nicely done. Be right back. I'm going to walk down here and open up the other slide. and put the lights on. As you notice and as you're looking through the coach, you've got a lot more room in a 45 foot than you would in the 40 foot, which works out rather well. And then I'll take you systematically through the coach on the inside. Okay. You start off in the front, you've got your two nice captain's co-pilot seat. On the co-pilot, you've got the extra generous chair for you and a four-legged friend. Then you have a place you can, on the side here, you can charge up your cell phone. Someone else can help with the navigation here in the stereo. Your step cover, like I mentioned, comes out. Co-pilot has full control. And again, now it's covered, so no one's going to slip, trip, fall, and break their neck, and also very safe for four-legged friends. You can actually stand on this without a problem, which is a good thing. So this part, they have the seat belts built into the seat. Again, makes it a little bit more comfortable, a little bit nicer, a little more elegant. You've got components up top. You can probably put some things here if you needed to. More components on the coach. Little cubby hole up top. Nice TV. And all of your, your silver leaf system is here. That's how you control the coach. You can check your climate control, your block heater, your batteries, 
everything done through the silver leaf. There's a panel here. You've got your Wi Fi extender. You've got your inverter system here, your solar, and of course your Gerard awnings here to put them out, and more down on the bottom. If you notice on the ceiling, if I may have my counterpart here be of help, if they do this and now these are all lit up. Your AC duct is here, so you have an intake and an out all the way through the coach. Works out rather nicely, and I'll show you. It lights up really amazingly, especially at night. That can be a whole lot of fun. I'll put the lights back on. There we go. You've got a small sofa here, like a love seat, makes it into a small bed. The TV comes up, it's on a televator. That's a signature thing for Newmar. And on this side, okay, I'm done. I'm done for the morning. This would be perfect. Now I know why he likes this so much. The nice theater seating, you can, you get to plug in your cell phones here. These come out. Usually when I used to walk in to the, the coach, I'd find one of my counterparts inside snoring, but we're not supposed to do that. You've got an extra cubby hole here for storage. You can put your drinks here. You know, that'd be a good spot if you if you did the, well, put a door here, you can put your four-legged friend right in there, put a bed down. That'd be amazing. Bring this one back. Easy to use, easy to operate. Everyone could have their time and relaxing in the coach. Again, they use Villa Furniture. It's a higher-end piece. You've got a bit of storage underneath the booth. This pulls out. There's two more chairs. You've got a piece that goes in here for your leaf to extend it out so you can seat six people around the booth very comfortably. The nice thing on this is as you're getting in, you've got plenty of room. It's very comfortable, which is a nice thing. You have the bigger windows. You can see out as you're going. You can bring your blinds down. You've got day and night chains which I'll demonstrate and show you. And then in your kitchen, you've got the extra pullout for any chef. You have plenty of room in the kitchen to do the things you want to do. And cooking, I love to cook. I think I mentioned that earlier about fish, vegetables, trying to eat a little healthier. But you've got all the places to put all your utensils away in the coach. Boy, there's enough clickers here to get a 15-year-old scared. You've got all the clickers here. You have a universal one. My daughter can help program it for you. Thank God, because I don't. But everything's here. You've got a place to put all your silverware. Very nicely done, and they're the easy, soft clothes. You've got a dishwasher, the Fisher Paykel. You can also keep your pots and pans in there when you're cruising. Works out rather nicely. And this to push in, you just give it a little push and in it goes. You have a two burner induction cooktop. You also get a cutting board here or you can bring your own either way and that also comes out. You can use it outside, you can plug it in. Again, they made it so you can use the coach, use everything inside, outside. For cooking it makes it nice. For reheating things or you can also cook You've got a convection microwave, nice and generous. I think you can fit a whole turkey breast in there. Not a whole turkey. A little more storage, you have adjustable shelves. You have your exhaust fan here, which it matches the rest of the coach on the interior. Nice big generous sinks. Comes with snore safe. If you see someone starting to snore, just give them a squirt. Works out rather nicely. And then up top, you can pull these out and get to them easily enough. 
And if somebody needs, we can always include a step stool so you can actually see in that's not a problem. I will find you one, that's a promise. My sister, who's the, my older sister, she's about four, ten and three quarters. Uh, I don't think she can reach. She thinks she can. But again, you have plenty of room in the, in the kitchen, places to put stuff. The extra piece on, for the sink is underneath. You can put them both. They have a place for them. You have a garbage can, place to put all your cleaning stuff. Again, it pulls out and makes life a whole lot easier. And a draw for more stuff. On the other side, we got the beautiful clock. I'm going to tell you what time it is at least twice a day. You've got storage up top to put all your things away. Then back here, you notice they come out a little further, so you have more room for more things that you want to put in the coach. You've got lights up top. You can light up the whole area. You've got the lights here. Again, they made it very tastefully done. It matches well. And as I mentioned before, you've got touch screens all over. So you've got where you can put the shades down. It might work. There it goes. So now you can see that the shades match very tastefully done. That'll keep the sun off you. And then you've got a dark out shade behind it, which I'll show you as well. Up in the front, when that one's coming down, That'll dark out the entire coach if you put them all down. You can put them all down. You can put one down at a time. It's your choice. They made them individual and all of them. The other nice thing on the other side, these do fit. Again, you've got some good sized drawers. They self-close. More drawers here. And as we head to the back, you've got to Whirlpool refrigerator, freezer, the French door. As it opens up, you've got a very generous, roomy refrigerator. Is it the biggest one they make? No, but it's very adequate. You can put everything you need without having to run to the store all the time. Plus, you have the extra cooler freezer underneath. Then on the bottom, and it's fully filtered too. Ice maker included, plenty of room for everything that you want to bring. You can get more ice cream in this one than you could probably eat in a week. Then again, I do like ice cream. You've got the gen generous pantry. They made a little adjustment to the pantry. If you notice underneath, they have the slots that you can fit cookie sheets in and things. Some of your pots and pans might be able to go on the side and be slid in. These, when you release them, you push in, they release, they come out and they're rather generous. And they're, you can move these should you want to. But again, they made them so you have the room to put things away and you can get to them as you want them. As we head to the back of the coach, you've got a nice king size bed. Not a cow king, it's a standard king. And then underneath, you've got your extra chairs. You have two leafs. You can fit those in the boot to make them more, a little bit more seating for everyone, a little bit more comfortable. You've got more storage. You can fit the things that you can't put elsewhere, perhaps underneath. You can put both of your, your extra underneath on the same side, your chairs that fold put them in plastic, wrap them up, put them underneath on the same side so you have room for other things. Bring that back down. It's easy to get up and down. You've got storage up top. One of the nice things a lot of people always ask me, Steve, we have a sleep apnea machine because someone snores. Well, you can fit that here. There's a plug in the middle. There's a grommet in between right back here. You can have it come down. It's not to wrap around and do the wrong thing, but that way your partner can be breathing and not waking you at night. The plug is up in the middle. 
again, they looked at little things and they do extra little things that make a difference so you're not having to then do it after market. This is all cushioned so you're not going to miss. You can get to inside here, easy to get in and out to do your sheets when you want to redo everything. You've got storage on this side for components if you need. Then on the bottom, you've got the nice drawers that you can put everything inside. You've got six bigger ones, four of course a little smaller. I'm guessing that the boss gets five and you get one or something like that. You have your TV back here which is nice to have. You can get to your awnings to put them over your windows here. You've got your other silver leaf panel that you can change everything from right here. You can check everything that you need. You've got a place on the side here, the panel. You can change your lights. The other place is they put it underneath the cabinets for the bed so again you don't have to get up. You can turn your lights on and off. As we move back a little further, show you the nice generous bathroom, put on some lights for you. You've got washer dryer here, stackable, Splendid or Whirlpool, depending on what they have. You can fit most everything in and then it'll dry in a timely manner. Extra drawer on the bottom. The other nice thing they do on the bigger coach is they give you a nice size shower. Now, fellas, if you're ladies, if you're a little taller, watch your head when you get in. You want to duck. There's a place here to sit down and relax if you need a break. Or for ladies when they're doing their legs for shaving. This folds up and out of the way. You've got elbow room, and that's a big deal. You know, you've got some room to do the things you need to do in here. This here, you've got the wand you can take off, you can rinse off, makes life a lot easier. Handlebar, if you need another one, we can always include an extra handlebar. The other nice thing is you just give it a push and out you come. And it stays. I talked about it earlier about the egress door. That's an extra emergency exit. You just unlock it and out it goes. The bottom piece you would just pull and the ladder drops down. Again, if the unthinkable happens, and it's happened to a few of my customers with other products, they like the new mark because you get the extra door in case the unthinkable happens, you can get out. Nice thing to do. You've got your fan here to exhaust for your shower. This area back here, climate controlled. You have heat that comes here. You have air conditioning. Now the system on the coach, you have three different heaters. You've got your heat pumps in your ACs. Works out real good to around 40, 42 degrees. Then you also have the heated floors. And then you have your Oasis hydronic heating system that'll heat up the whole coach. This side you can get to for maintenance to make sure the connections are right on your washer dryer. The other side, you've got a nice full medicine cabinet. These are all tastefully done, very nicely done. You have room for stuff underneath, and you have extra drawers to put things away. I'll grab the lots and lots of storage on the back. Place to put your shoes, your hats, hanging closet. You can fold things over here. You can take these two out and have more hanging closet and then you have doubles on the other side. So now you have room to bring the things you want to bring. You don't have to. Can we fit that inside? No, you can fit what you need. Then you have a service panel that comes off and this comes up. Should service need to get in your, to the inside engine compartment of your coach, then you have stackers here. One other thing about service, Coming here, I've been here about two months now, and it's been very amazing. We have a, a service department. They're not perfect, but they really are great. We do our own chassis work on the premises, which works out really well. We don't have to send it anywhere. 
If they needed to replace an engine, they have the capability of doing so. And that's a great feeling, because where I was working previously, we didn't. Then we have the fellas and the ladies that take, yes, I did say ladies. We've got plenty of ladies that work on the chassis and on the interior of the coach, do an amazing job. But we also have a second building, which handles, I call it the box. The pieces that are on top of the chassis, they're over here on this side. The chassis on the across the street. And why I bring that up is that TransWest is big on service. Not only do they fix the big rigs that are commercial, but they handle anything on the chassis below and on the box above. And they can normally get most everything done in a timely manner. Um, it's one of the things that they're proud about is that we do a pretty darn good job. We're not perfect, but we do a pretty darn good job. And service, as we all know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you nothing's ever going to happen to your coach because uh, I'd be like Pinocchio, my nose would hit the other side. So that's a big deal. And for me, because I show them, I'm not mechanical, but I can usually walk people through. Again, I bring it up again. I'm, I'm pretty good at troubleshooting. You've got the concierge number to Newmar. You've got our walkthrough person, Wade. And then you have Bill, who's our service tech, who knows everything about a motorhome. And that's all offered to you at TransWest. And I bring that up because it's, again, important because you have to be able to get things fixed and they have to be able to troubleshoot when you get a coach of this size with all the extras on the coach. And to me, that's always been a big deal. It's not just, gee, I paid the least amount for the coach, but now I can't get anyone at the dealership to respond. I'm always available. Had a customer of mine last night. I got them in touch with the right people. I followed up with them this morning. They're out on their first maiden voyage in Minnesota in a Newmar, and they had a little issue. We've got Bill from our dealership here talking to them to walking them through it. I got him in touch with Newmar, the customer service. I made sure that Newmar got a hold of them. But those are things that we do because it's part of who we are. I do it for my customers because I think it's really important. If you're having an issue, then I'm going to do whatever I can to help. I'm not going to fix it because I'll break it. I I'm real good at that. Anyone that knows me can tell you that. But when it comes to finding the people that can be of help to you, I feel it's my responsibility, so I go above and beyond. The customers have my cell number. I tell them, please, please, don't hesitate. Let me see what I can do to help. Because I think that's half of the battle when you have, again, you paid a lot of money to have a toy, basically, but you can go and enjoy your time. So it's my help and my responsibility to help you find the people that can get you back on the road, get it serviced, and get it fixed. That's just who I am and that's what I try to give any customer that I talk to. Even if they're not my customer, I'll still answer questions. They can pick what's left of my brain anytime and I'll try to help as best as I can and that's how the mentality is here. And that's a big deal at the dealership because a lot of dealers, no one wants to hear it, no one wants to say, gee, what can I do to help? And that's our mentality here. You know, I can pull one of the other salespeople. I can pull a manager. The service techs are over there available to talk to and ask questions to. And sometimes I'll walk into service with my cell phone on speaker. I'll say, folks, we got a problem here. Can someone please help? And, it's, and, they, and they'll, they'll take a moment and they'll assist. And that to me is a big deal. That says a lot about a dealership. I'll quit harping on that and I'll show you the rest of the coach, but to me that was important because that happened this morning. Got your privacy door here with a mirror on the other side. That's a real heavy door. Got your privacy doors here. Speakers are built in on the top. You've got a place to put, once again, more stuff or you can hide your flask there. I know it's only going to be lemonade or orange juice, but you can hide it right there. Well, maybe you can have something stronger than lemonade. As I show you the rest of the coach, someone asked me, is, that, is there a extra something in the coach? And I said, yes. And behind, well, that's where the safe is. It's safe. For a while, when I first saw these, I didn't realize it actually had it in it. Then I did a little snooping, and lo and behold, I found the safe. And this opens up, 
you shut that little storage behind and without breaking it let's see if I can do this ta-da see I haven't broke anything yet I'm getting there again you've got the nice flooring that matches everything you've got the nicer color scheme you've got windows that actually open another emergency exit two windows on the side of the bed a lot of people like having a little air flowing on them when they're sleeping the air conditioning is not very noisy what they did is they came up with a system they pushed it up put insulation over and made them much quieter again you can sleep in in here with the AC running without hearing all the noise they're very quiet little things that they do to make it that much better for you when you're in your motorhome and enjoying your time as we go to the front we've got the half bath that's also where your plug-in for your central vac units on the bottom you can actually get in allow me and you have room you don't feel like you're in the broom closet you actually can get in here do your business you can turn around you've got your fuse panel here that you can get to easily enough another fan to exhaust in here because when we're in here I'll just say no more but again you can get to fuse panels here very easily makes it nice again they matched it very well you've got counter space to put things out so if one person's using the back bathroom someone could be up here getting ready brushing their teeth doing the things that they have to do medicine cabinet with plugs what a concept and these actually light up allow me I'll show you got the light underneath and this one lights up as well not that I need to see myself any closer there we go as we come out and back around the coach televator let me bring that up so you can see it No, guys, I haven't broke anything yet. Just give me a chance. Televator works. You've got plugs on the sides. You've got your Bose sound bar up above. So you can be in here. You can stream your favorite videos. If you like the Starlink, if you want to do a hotspot on your phone, you can do whatever you like. Seems like if you're going to be working on the road, a lot of folks like the Starlink. It does world good, as I'm understanding from customers of mine. If you like your internet for streaming and such. But again, you've got a nice little theater area right here. Works out very well. A lot of people ask me, why do they put the TV up front? It's probably for the chef, so they can see it a little bit easier. Again, those are little things that Numar does. It's an option. It's up to you if you want that. Could get a little bit of cabinet space up front. Up front, you've got more room for more stuff here. Again, you can hide your flask if you like it. On this side, you've got the plugs. And these are lit up as well. You've got the comfortable theater seating. Your controls are up front, which I mentioned earlier. You've got your HWH hydraulic leveling system. It's all push button. You can drop your airbags right from it. You don't have to sit there and look for it. The Spartan's great because it's old school. I've been doing this for a bit. You adjust everything. You adjust your steering, your select in the front but you push button like we're used to with your reverse, neutral, and drive, the six-speed into Allison transmission. You can put your cell phone up top with the engine on and it'll charge your phone. You've got an electric window here so you can give tolls when you're going through them. You've got the comfort drive which makes it easier for you to drive. They got with, together with TRW Engineering back in 90, 2006 2007 created a system that your steering column you can physically turn with one finger let it go it comes back to center they do a lot of things in the mountain air it is in their luxury line the fit and finish is amazing 
and it's a beautiful coach. Now, if the Mountain Air 45 is not what you're looking for, we carry the Country Star diesel, we carry the Ventana, the Dutch Star, we carry the sister coach to the Mountain Air, the New Air, but the smaller version, we have those two on the lot with the big block engine. If you want to get a little fancier with a bigger engine, we do have the London Air, the Essex, and of course the big King Air. We have quite a few of those. Whichever one you like, or if you want a van, we offer those too. You know, I'm here to help. I'm here to answer any questions I can. And if I don't know the answer, I will find out and I will ask. And I'll go to the proper people so I can be of help to you. One of the things we like to do here is we like to be a service and we like to help. And we want to make sure your experience is as good as it can be. Because Lord knows you're spending a lot on a coach. It's one of those things that everyone likes to do. You want to get in your motor home and go have fun. And this is the place to do this. In Colorado, allow me, it's very beautiful here. It's one of the reasons I came here from the desert in California is that this area has a lot of beautiful camping and a lot of things that you get to do that you can't do everywhere else. And we'll help you plan a trip. We'll help you take your coach out. We'll make sure you know half of what you're doing. Whether you want to take one of the RV parks to the north, you go down to Creed area where they have those specialty higher end parks. Whatever it is you want to do, we're here to help. It's one of the nice things about the dealership that I'm in here is that we'll get you on the road, we'll troubleshoot with you, we'll do what's necessary to make sure you and your family can have a, the best time ever in camping if you want to call this camping. Like I mentioned, my name is Steve. I've been here, I'm the new guy. I've been in the industry for quite a while. Be happy to help you any way I can with whatever coach you want, whether it's new, used, whatever we carry. And I'll help you when you do get your coach from us. I'm still there to help. I haven't run off, my phone is always on. Although at 2.53 in the morning, I might not be quite as available. Might have to wait till the morning for me to help you. But you can ask customers of mine if I've been there for them and the answer is yes. And that's part of what I do. One of the nice things again is that we carry Newmar. They're one of the high-end manufacturers. Yes, they were acquired by Winnebago, but Winnebago's pretty much left them alone. Any of your needs on it comes to a motorhome, be happy to help you. My number, email's probably on the screen. And thank you for giving me the time into your TV to show you the mountain air. It's a pleasure, as always, and I'll see you here next week. Take care. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.